John, how was the M6? <laughs> Absolute nightmare. Right, how's this for a barbecue set out? So we've got a little uh, open fire pit going on here. And look at this place. Nice. Look at this. We've got chandelier there. <laughs> Just there. Uh, how cool is that? That's so cool. Michelle, good work. Yeah, yeah, like it, like it, that's it. Yeah, work it for the camera. Yes, 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 yes. Part of the other room, this is what part of the other room. Jonathan, what do you see? Chico, what do you make the telescope? What do you make? No, 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 no. John, what do you make of it? Pretty good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right, here we go. We're uh, we're playing the 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 royal palace of. Halfway house. That's the halfway house Michelle's on Lancaster. House. Yeah, it's Michelle's house. Lancaster Golf Club. Um, this is exquisite. I, I say this about every course. I'm like, yeah. this course is amazing. Yeah, it really gives you an idea of where we're from. Yeah. <laughs> Everything else is amazing. I just take anything I can get. Yeah, yeah this is great. Um, hopefully, gonna have a good round. You'll see. I've done. <laughs> Let me start that again with words. <laughs> I've decided I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that's against my personality in every way, and I'm gonna minimise risk uh, during this round by taking um, sensible shots at all times instead of going for it at all times, which is what I'd normally do. Um, and and this is going to be a test of can I outscore my typical score, which would tend to be about mid 90s at the moment from what we've been playing so far. Um, can I outscore that by minimizing risk? No. Look at this. <laughs> no. <laughs> John's optimistic. We'll see. So that idea lasted all of one single hole. Um, there's us trying to make smarter decisions and both of us inadvertently decided, we, we could probably, I think we could probably go from the green from there. That's, that's quite sensible. Both, both screwed our shots up, both ended up in trouble. Um, John hitting trees, me in a bunker, two shots out of the bunker, three parts, and both shot a nine, <laughs> which is, don't play golf, it's a stupid game. It's a stupid game. Stupid game. Impossible. Impossible. Nobody can do it. Yeah. No, I'm joking. Kind of not. Um, right, from now on, we're going to try and play sensible shots. <laughs> Which, what's this fly doing? Get off. There we go. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Strong crash in the drone. Empty, and we're not sure whether he's going to make it. 
there's not that many petrol stations on the Scottish country roads. So we'll see what happens. There should be a petrol station on this roundabout. Hopefully, he doesn't take the wrong exit. Straight forwards, John. Yeah. It's a bit hit and miss. He made it. Oh, brilliant. So we've just had the most delicious breakfast ever. Um, no exaggeration, it was very nice. Super Scottish. Super Scottish. At, what, what's this place called? Uh, the Storehouse. The Storehouse. We're about to start the North Coast 500, which is a driving route. Um, it goes all around the north of Scotland from Inverness, John O'Groats near enough. Mm -hmm. And then across and back down. Um, it's gonna be fantastic. Oh, there's another Porsche. <laughs> which one's which? Um, yeah, so I've, I've personally been looking forward to this for our entire trip. Um, I think you have as well, haven't you? Not really for me. No, not really for him. Driving around the most beautiful scenery in the world. No. In the world. In Scotland. In the world. <laughs> in the world. Yeah. That's true. Ooh. Ooh. Yay. Yeah, we had our cars washed as well, didn't we? Yeah. Look, it's all shiny! Yay. Um, yeah, so we're about to uh, start the North Coast 500. I'll tell you one thing that I absolutely love about these roads so far is just the, like, you'll, you'll often come over the brow of a hill and there'll be these long, sloping roads, like, all over the landscape, far, far, far into the distance and you just get this incredible perspective. You know, I don't know if you can see this on the dash cam at the moment, but uh, this, uh, yeah, this awesome perspective, far, far, far into the distance that you just don't get on the south coast. I love it. of a mile, turn right. So I'm just arriving at John O'Groats after, um, I don't know, quite a few days of, uh, of travelling, working our way up north. Obviously we've had pit stops on the way, see people, to do things here and there. Cheers. So we've decided to get one of them and two of them. It's been very good fun, but in about half a mile, I think up here, I would have traveled with John the full length the United Kingdom. Land's End to John O'Quotes. Still haven't finished yet, obviously we've got quite a few more uh, activities planned, but here we are. Here comes John, slow as always. Bad, bad. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, on, on the one straight road yeah. <laughs> to the destination yeah, of John O'Groats. Land's End again. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Land's End, John O'Groats. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently, we're, we're, we're officially now end to enders. We are. <laughs> uh, but that just just to, for clarification that means um that we've gone from land's end to john o'groats 
So I think that's the, uh, the official term. Yep. Any any reflections, John, on our journey over the last few days to go from Land's End to John O'Brien? Where to start, Daniel? Where to start? Oh my start? goodness. I feel like I'm, um, I'm a different man. I'm not a young man anymore. Yeah. You know, I was when we started this trip, so. <gasps> Learned a lot, grown a lot as a person. Yeah. Written um, a lot of poetry, which I've not shared with you yet, but that will come from it. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, real life changing experience over the last four days. <laughs> <laughs> it was, basically, it was a fun drive. We yeah. enjoyed ourselves, we played some golf, we met some friends, we had a wonderful time, and now we are in the, the fresh Scottish air. John hey. O'Grace sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in other news, look at these houses. Yeah. John, which one would you choose? I actually own the green one. You own the green one? Yeah. Okay, I own the red one. Really? Yeah, the red side. You never knew one. that about each other. <laughs> I know. <Wow. laughs> Unbelievable. What do you know? <laughs> well, apparently not that. Not, not, no. not that. So, uh, uh, yeah, would, would you would you recommend the drive, John, from Land's End to John O'Grace? No. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> I personally would recommend the, the drive um, if you have a car. If you don't have a car, uh, yeah. I would not recommend the well, drive. Or a lawnmower or a shed. I, I was going to, yeah, I was going to say we we learn at the uh, Lands End Museum that um, people have done it in a shed, mm -hmm. a lawnmower. Um, backwards. They, yeah, someone's walked backwards from Lands End to John O'Groats. Um, Oh, what else? There was something else mental, wasn't it? But a skip, a skip. A Someone's done it trolley. in a skip, a shopping trolley. Mm -hmm. um, so if you happen to be a maniac, then we'd recommend one of those. Uh, yeah. If you are a relatively normal person, driving is sufficient. Um, if you hate driving, then don't go from Lands End to Johnny Great advice. I think that's it. The end. <laughs>